What is good guys? Hope you're all doing well and welcome back. Earlier today, Ubisoft Forward took place and today was the day if you're an X Defiant fan, we got an absolute bombshell dropped on us. We got so much news. So let's just jump straight in and let's go over it all. First and foremost, let me take this one moment to brag about getting my predictions right. Ubisoft has confirmed they will be running an open beta for X Defiant next week and the game is launching sometime later this summer. The open beta is going to be running from the 20th to the 23rd, and players who previously played in the closed beta are going to be given early access on the 20th, and new players are going to have to wait until the 21st to get a chance to play. As far as what's changed since the last beta, Ubisoft has confirmed that this beta is going to be featuring the new and improved netcode, it's going to have 120Hz support for current gen consoles, and it's going to have some improvements to PS5 specifically in terms of input lag, but sadly, everyone who's still stuck on last gen consoles will have to be sitting this beta out. As for changes that we can expect but weren't explicitly stated by Ubisoft, expect some balance changes to factions such as Libertad and potentially some bug fixes for bugs that you experienced during the last closed beta. Moving on, Ubisoft also outlined their year one update roadmap. And it's a doozy guys. Starting things off, X Defiant will launch with a 6 week preseason before moving into a very ambitious update schedule. They've committed to releasing a map every single month. Along with a new faction, 3 guns, and a battle pass with 90 tiers every 3 months, or season. I don't know about you guys, but hearing this news made my brain melt. To put this into perspective, we currently have 14 maps in the game. They are going to nearly double the amount of maps by the end of the first year, and the same thing is true with factions. Now I really hope they can pull this off and execute well, because if they do, well I'm going to have a lot of stuff to talk to you guys about here on this channel. They also outlined some features that would be coming in year one, but didn't provide any timeline for these, so who knows how long we're going to be waiting for them, but ranked and private matches with spectator tools are going to be coming sometime shortly after launch and they've committed to adding more game modes, with Mark stating on Twitter recently that they bumped up S&D on their list of priorities, so that very well may be one of the modes that we see in X Defiant Year 1. And that about wraps up all the X Defiant news. What piece of news got you the most hype? I know for me personally, I can't stop speculating about what these four factions coming in Year 1 might look like. If you guys want to see a video going over my thoughts and theories about what those factions might look like, Leave a like on the video, sub to the channel, and who knows, maybe we'll get that video out in a couple of days. But yeah guys, as always, thank you for watching, take care, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.